It was last November when Jon Stewart promised on his show he would come here and answer my questions. After months of evasion, disconnected phone numbers, and press agents saying, who are you again? It appears he finally ran out of excuses, and so Jon Stewart, welcome to Fox News Sunday. Thank you so much, Chris. I, I really I appreciate it. I just want to say as a viewer, I can't tell you how disappointed I am that you would sully a program of this integrity, of this quality, with a presence uh, such as John Stewart. It really sort of a, a, a Groucho Marx saying you don't want to be a member of a club. That Believe me, you, you. Will, you will be reading on air my angry email <laughs> about the fact that you had me on. How does it feel to be in the belly of the beast? Is this the belly? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize you were in the belly. I yeah. thought there was a slightly different app appendage that was down here, but this is nice. <laughs> this is, uh, I, I told you as, as I first came in, beautifully climate controlled, uh, an ease of parking for a New Yorker. This is a... Uh, you, have you gotten validated yet? I got my parking. Let me see if I still have it. I got my parking validated. I will ask you this, uh, and I don't know if this is a, a metaphor for Washington bureaucracy, but if somebody here could explain to me why New York Avenue becomes Massachusetts Avenue for no apparent reason without making a turn, we're I would really to, appreciate we're that. We're not allowed to tell you With that. Now, now look, have you checked out the mugs? Yeah, they're very nice. They're Do you very, see what it says on the inside of the mugs? Uh, can I read it out loud? It's somewhat anti-Semitic. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> fair, and fair and balanced. balanced. Yes. Yeah. I like the how about, fact How about that we it's... toast and we both take a big drink out of our mugs? I'd be... You know, it's interesting that the mug itself No, no, no. Is... Drink, drink, oh, no talking. Just drink it. Drink the water. Why do you want me to drink just, it? Just please. It's just interesting that you want me to drink it. Why don't you have a taste of this first? I'm drinking it myself. Yeah, but we could have different waters. Well, this is not... I've seen this you in this You wouldn't be scared motors. of this. All right. Now, Seb. There you go. Well, and while you're drinking, you love to take shots. Do I have typhoid now? What, what did you, you do to me? No, no, no. All right. You might want a little more, but we, you love to take shots at Fox News. Yes, I do. Over the years, you have called us. And I'm going to put this on the screen because this is Please. heavy stuff. A biased organization mm -hmm. relentlessly promoting an ideological agenda under the rubric of being a news organization. Rubric. And, yeah, I th actually, actually I think it was slightly the wrong use right. of the word rubric. Was it really? A, a relentless, agenda-driven, 24-hour news opinion propaganda delivery system. Yeah. Where do you come up with this stuff? Uh, it's actually quite easy when you feel it. You got to feel it in your soul, you know. You got to really just lay it out there as it were there. So is that, are you suggesting you're impressed with how well I describe things or I'm not sure what you, you, you like the uh, explicit and specific nature of it? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> are you willing to say yeah. the same thing about the mainstream media, about ABC, CBS, NBC, Washington Post, New York Times, would you no. say the same thing about them, that they are, in your words, a right. propaganda delivery system relentlessly pushing no. a liberal agenda? No, I wouldn't say that. Why no. not? Because I don't think they are. I think, I think you are, Fox News is much more uh, reactive in the sense that even like, somewhat like my show, you know, the idea, I guess I would say this, you are, MSNBC is attempting that. I think they're attempting, they've looked at your business model and they've seen the success of it. And I think they're attempting to be a more activist organization. You don't think the New York Times is a liberal organization? Now. Pushing a liberal agenda? Uh, the New York Times, no, I, I, I think that they are to a certain extent. Do I think they're relentlessly activist? No, in, okay. in, in, in a purely liberal partisan way? No, I don't. Well, I, I think this is, Fox is a I, I very the, special... The, the, the shutters to go from your eyes, because I am going to prove it to you in the oh. next few minutes. Oh, well, okay. Then that, I don't, I'm excited about that. Well, here we go. Can I tell you this? I love to learn. But here do you, you really, so you, you believe that Fox News is exactly the ideological equivalent I think of we're the NBC counterweight. News. I think we're the counterweight. You believe that? I think that they have a liberal agenda, and right. I think we tell the other side of the story. But since this is my show, oh, okay. I'm asking the question. You're absolutely right. I apologize. Sarah Palin. But even, I don't. I, I won't you. get my. I won't get my parking unvalidated. No, no, no. You can. Right. You're, you're going to get I out of here, get for free. Park here for absolutely. free. Absolutely. Such a deal. All right. uh, you're a good you, man. You made, even you made yes. fun of the fact that the New York Times and the Washington Post, when this document dump of 24,000 emails mm -hmm. that Sarah Palin was right. released, and they got so excited about it, right. they asked their readers, can help us go mm -hmm. through these 24,000 documents. Right. How do you explain the fact that they would do that? They would ask their readers to help them go through the, e the Palin emails, mm -hmm. inconsequential as they turned out to be, right. but they never said, help us go through the 2,000 pages of the Obama health care bill. 
Because I think their bias is towards sensationalism and laziness. I wouldn't say it's towards a, a, a liberal agenda. And I think you don't think maybe they went a little easier on the Obama health care bill. Oh, I think they went easier on the Obama health care bill in the same way they went easier on the Levin Coburn uh, financial uh, disaster study. I think that the uh, the emails a they're in uh, you know Twitter type, so it's a lot easier to go through. B it's uh, light fluff. So it's absolutely within the wheelhouse. I mean, if your suggestion is that they are uh, relentlessly partisan, then why haven't they gone uh, and backed away from Wiener? Now, they've, do they, they've, they've uh, uh, jumped into the Wiener pool uh, so, uh, with such delight and such relish because the bias Some of the mainstream media. are indefensible. The, the bias of the mainstream media. Oh, I'm not saying it's defensible, but the bias of the mainstream media is towards sensationalism, conflict, and laziness. Well, okay. So if your suggestion is it's purely about it, you've proved very little by suggesting I'm, that I'm the Sarah getting, Palin emails were, I'm were just getting embraced. Started. No, 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 I appreciate you, that. You take your own shot uh, yeah. recently at Sarah Palin. You compared her video of her one bus, one nation bus tour to a certain commercial. Let's take a look. Valtrex. As the tour rolls on. Stopping at historic places like Gettysburg. And then to Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. You know what's cool, man? The way they had reporters finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> Where have I seen that technique before? I have genital herpes. And I try to be careful. Very careful. Very, Very careful. Sarah Palin and her herpes drug? Really? Yeah. As a technique for the commercial? You don't... You, so you're saying that... By comparing the technique that she used in her video to, to a, a technique used in a herpes commercial, you are not making a political comment. You really think that's a political comment? Yes. You're insane. Really? Yeah. Here's the difference between you and I. I'm a comedian first. My comedy is informed by an ideological background. There's no question about that. But the thing that you will never understand, and the thing that in some respects conservative activists will never understand, is that... Hollywood, yeah, they're liberal, but that's not their primary motivating force. I'm not an activist. I'm a comedian. All right. And my comedy is informed by ideology. I There's wanna, no question I about that. Thank but you. I'm not an ideologue. I want to thank you for saying that because yeah. Baltimore Sun TV critic David Zurawick, mm -hmm. put it up on the screen, says right. that is your dodge. Stewart is never held accountable in his right. media criticism, is he? When he is wrong, he goes into the tap dance of saying, okay. he's only a comedian no, and shouldn't be great. taken seriously. Let's talk about that. When did I say to you, I'm only a comedian? I said, I'm a comedian first. That's not only. Being a comedian is harder than what you do. What I do is much harder. I put material through a process, a comedic process. I don't just but you sit are a and narrate. The comedy the has comedy a political... Some of it. Well, let me but it you... is comedy first. But let me let me Can say I give this... you another example? No, me, because no, I want to no, no. deal with this. Example. Let's, let's deal with it. Let's, no, let's, let's, let's talk I'm about gonna, it. I'm going to do that. I want to find out why you Here's say that. Here's your take it. on GOP right. presidential candidate Herman Cain. Beautiful. Where is it? Well, that's why I'm going to only allow small bills. <laughs> Three pages. You have time to read that one over the dinner table. If I am president, treaties will have to fit on the back of a cereal box. <laughs> From now on, the State of the Union address will be delivered in the form of a fortune cookie. I am Herman Cain, and I do not like to read. You uh, planning a remake of Amos and Andy? Why don't you show, do you want to show me doing all the voices for all the other people that we do? Do you want to see my New York voice? My Chinese guy voice? Are you suggesting that you and I are the same? Are you suggesting... The, what am I at my highest aspiration, and what are you at your highest aspiration? I think, Tell me. Honestly, honestly, I think you want to be a political player. You are wrong. You're dead wrong. We, you, I, appreciate, I appreciate what you're saying. Do I want my there, voice I, heard? Do I want my voice heard? Absolutely. That's why I got into comedy. I mean, That's you're not, why I you're do not what Jerry I do. Seinfeld. No. I do comedy. Have, what am I at my highest aspiration? I Who just, am I? I think. Am I Edward R. Murrow or am I Mark Twain? At my highest aspiration. Oh, of, that, of those two, Mark Twain. Right. But, but so has Mark that Twain existed? had a lot of political impact. But is, was that his main thrust? Am I an activist in your mind, an ideological partisan activist? Yeah. Okay, then I disagree with you. Okay. I absolutely disagree with you that that's the case. I think you're and pushing. And I don't think. And I think, I think you take shots at, at 
at, although I think it's mostly to maintain credibility and you're not as comfortable with it, Let you take it shots way. at Obama and here's, at the liberals, here's what I you like to make fun of conservatives. You can't understand, because of the world you live in, that there is not a designed uh, ideological agenda on my part to affect partisan change, because that's the soup you swim in. And I appreciate that, and I understand it. It reminds me of, you know, uh, uh, you know in ideological regimes, they can't understand that uh, there is free media other places because they receive marching orders. And if you want me to go through Bill Salmon's emails and... Uh, do you think I've ever, how do you explain me? Oh, I think you do a nice job, and I've told you that on the show. I think you're one of the most interesting... Do you think things. I get marching I think, orders? I think that you are here, in some respects, to uh, bring a credibility and an integrity to an organization that might not otherwise have it without your presence. So you, uh, you, also, you are here as a counterweight to Hannity, let's say, or you are here as a counterweight to Glenn Beck, because otherwise it's just pure talk radio, and it doesn't establish the type of well, political so play you, that it but wants the, so to be. Part, but I understand part, that. Wait, wait, wait. But for you to but suggest, part, no, there is I, I want to stay no, on this, because this is important. The, the, no, this is, no. <laughs> but you sound like, that sound like Luke Gingrich during the CNN debate. Am I no, dodging you? The, uh, Am I dodging you by saying no, I'm just a comedian? Here is the to question. What? Here is, is is the question, and right. I and I think there are plenty of examples. Let me just give you another example right. of this. Isn't you? This is the mainstream media. Okay. Because we look for examples of liberal bias, of no partisan agenda. I just. Want I'm not suggesting there's no liberal bias in the media, but you're suggesting that there is an equivalence of Fox yes. News and ABC, and I think that's absolutely All right. silly. Here's, here's Diane Sawyer.